Hey friends, Alex here at The Code Wolf again, and today we've got a shorter but I think valuable video about the new debugging improvements in .NET 8. This is one of those topics that I think is going to be one of the more underrated or underappreciated features in this new release. Debugging is one of those things where a small improvement can really go a long way since developers spend so much of their time debugging. Let's check it out. So in .NET 8, Microsoft has essentially applied debug customization attributes to various parts of the ASP.NET Core source code out of the box. So what does this mean? Well, it basically improves and reformats what information is shown for different variables in the debugger windows. So rather than displaying the technical name of some property and making you hunt through objects to find the values you're interested in, useful values are instead surfaced for you and displayed with friendly formatting. As we get started here, please remember to hit subscribe to support the channel. It's much easier to understand these debugging improvements if we first look at the state of things in .NET 7, but don't worry, this will be quick and it's a really helpful comparison. So here in VS Code, I have a .NET 7 Razor Pages project open, just an out of the box template, nothing special. Let's set a couple breakpoints in our app that will allow us to inspect its state using the debugger during startup and while the homepage loads. So let's place one in the program file and then switch over to that index file and also add one to the get method of what's essentially our homepage here. With those in place, let's start the app and give that a second to load. After a moment, our debugger will hit that first breakpoint in our program file. Let's inspect our variables tab using the debugger and then try to inspect some basics about the state of our app. Now, everything here looks like what you'd expect from .NET historically. We have our configuration and environment properties, and if we want to know more about them, we can of course expand them and poke around a bit here to find stuff out. However, as you can see, this is a bit of a tedious process as we hunt for useful information in this sea of programmatic names and structures. The display values off to the right here aren't really that useful right now. If I want to know the current log level right away, or even the name of the application, or how many endpoints or services are registered, we have to hunt around in here and manually track down that data. It's certainly functional, but not the most friendly experience. We can see more of this type of situation if we hit continue to move on to the get method of our razor page. And here, if we expand our index model, we can again see all kinds of properties, but not a lot of useful information. For example, at first glance, I can't really see if this is a get or post request, what URL was requested, what the anticipated response code is, the user's authentication status, and so on. That information is here, but it's all buried like pieces of a treasure hunt. Well, .NET 8 changes all of this. Let's switch over to the same out-of-the-box Razor Pages template now created with .NET 8, which you can always verify by looking at the project file. There we see the version. Here, let's make sure we have the same breakpoints set in the program file and in the index page again. And then let's run our app and see what our debugger shows this time. As the app starts up, right away we can see that our debugger info looks way different. All kinds of useful information is surfaced and displayed for us right here. We can see how many endpoints our app has, what the name of it is, what the logging level is, how many middleware components or services are available to inspect. This is a vastly better experience. Essentially, I feel like this feature switches the debugger from showing data to showing information, or in other words, more useful contextualized data. Your average developer spends a ton of time debugging, so I think this is definitely a small feature that is gonna save a lot of time and headache for quick debugging tasks. Even as I expand these structures, more information surfaces up to the top, such as our endpoints, which list out every single one without any additional work. I also want to mention that this feature is just enabled by default in .NET 8. You don't have to do anything to set up this change. Let's click continue to move on to our index page real quick and see what that gives us as well. Sure enough, we have all kinds of useful information already surfaced at the top here. We can see details about the incoming request without any hunting around, such as the request type and URL. We can also more easily see information about the user and other data points. Of course, all of the original properties and values are still here. We can always drill down into the properties to find the specifics of anything, but .NET helps us out by surfacing and displaying valuable and commonly used bits of information. 
So I hope this feature helps speed up your future debugging. Please hit subscribe to support the channel, and I'll see you next time right here at the Code Wolf.